video. This is me, Titan. Today we will be talking about my current beauty favorites in the month of August and September. The last time I did one of these favorites videos, I think it was in February or March. So it's way, way, way overdue and I'm really sorry for that. But the reason is because I haven't really found anything that I absolutely loved and I didn't want to just like make a video talking about shit that I felt mediocre about. Um, this is just temporary. This is actually like my little snuggly blanket that I use when I'm like watching Netflix. My cooler background is coming soon. I'm not gonna tell you what it is because I want it to be a surprise. Without much further ado, let's get on with the skincare. Psh! So I'm gonna start off locally. This is a brand called Tiff Body. They sent me their Matcha O'Clock Deep Cleansing Mask. So this is actually like one of those powdery masks. I can never pronounce that word. Masks. So it looks like that. And you just add water to it, you mix it in your hand, and then you just apply it to your face. It's 100% natural and organic. It's infused with matcha green tea and French lavender and turmeric. But I know that turmeric really brightens your skin up. If that day I've been having very dull skin and I really, really need to freshen up and make my skin glow again, I'll just put this on at night and you can immediately see the difference. Next up, I have another product that Tip Body sent me. This is the Face and Body Scrub to Turmeric plus coffee. I really like that exfoliating effect. Coffee scrubs do work, my friends. A lot of people ask me like on DMs. If I like it, I'll tell you I like it. And I do like this. It does um, make my skin feel a lot softer and smoother after you apply it. Still on the topic of skincare, I have my Ika Cosme cleansing and foam right here. The awesome part is that it foams up really quick and you need very very little product but the reason why I love this most is because it can clean off my makeup even my foundation, my concealer, my eyebrow products it cleans it completely but it doesn't clean waterproof mascara which is one thing that I find can only come off with like oil cleanser. I really love this product so much and I highly recommend it. Moving on to makeup products. This is a primer from Becca and this is the backlight priming filter. I've been very afraid to pick it up because I have oily skin but it makes my skin look luminous without looking oily. It's really really pretty on the skin. I feel like it has a really pearlescent subtle glow to the skin. If I just put it on my hand right now you guys can actually see how pearlescent it looks looks so oh fuck I completely missed my hand I just pumped the floor wow I don't know if you guys can see but it's actually super pearlescent I love mixing this with my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. That shit is awesome. We have two foundations to talk about today. I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation in the shade Natural. So stick foundations have been taking up all the hype lately because they are so portable. Think about it, it's travel friendly because there's no liquid. It's literally just a stick. The reason why I love this so much is because it really works with my oily skin. If you have oily oily skin, I highly recommend this because it did control my oil a little bit, even though I do still have to go through one or two sheets of my clean and clear, um, you know, the blue color oil control sheets per day. Usually I go through three to four of those sheets. If you do have dry skin, like you have dry patches everywhere, I would steer clear from this. And then the next foundation we have is a L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte, and I'm in the shade Natural Beige 105. This is too dark for me, so if you're my skin tone, I would recommend 104 instead. It's a Demi matte finish, so it's not completely matte. They actually have like the Infallible Pro Glow or something. But if you're into that matte look but not looking like a piece of paper matte, then this is the one for you. This is great because it does last on the skin. It lasts like at least eight hours on me. It's medium to high coverage. It's buildable. It doesn't look like you're wearing a mask. It just looks like your skin but better. My next favorite is the Power of Makeup palette and this is the collaboration between Too Faced and Nikki Tutorials here on YouTube. I feel like this palette received a lot of mixed reviews. A lot of people say that it's not pigmented but honestly, I feel like they're just using it wrong because with products that are this shimmery, usually it works better with your finger. Look, I'm just gonna swatch it real quick and you can see how pigmented that is. The matte shades blend like heaven and everything else is just beautiful. Like, look at this color right here. 
They are very pigmented with just one swipe. But besides its eyeshadows, I would say the reason why I love this palette is because it comes with blushes, contour, and highlights. So it basically comes with your entire face. I have some falsies to share with you guys. This is the Ardell Demi Wispies. And these are extremely popular here in the States. They're always sold out. A lot of YouTubers talk about this specific Demi Wispies eyelashes and I can finally tell you I know why. They are so beautiful on the lash especially on Asian eyes because look at how beautiful and natural that looks they're so comfortable on the eyes I don't even feel them I think like people with small eyes like I do I mean my eyes aren't super small but they are pretty round I would say they're not that long shape like that beautiful almond shape they're kind of round like a chipmunk's <laughs> so you can see they're longer on the outer end so it actually gives the illusion that my eyes are longer than they actually are so they don't look like a little tiny furry animal's eyes next up I have a liquid lipstick to share with you guys I know I know what's new but I've just recently tried out the NYX lingerie and this is in the shade number six push-up this is the color that I'm wearing on my lips today it doesn't dry completely matte it is still slightly transferable but I like that it's like not super drying it's just that really nice mauve color it's similar to candy K but less dark okay guys we have finally gotten to the point where I talk about my hair a shitload of people have been asking me about my hair and I've been so happy about it because when I dyed my hair I didn't think that it would be so damn expensive in New York. And I dyed my hair at End Hair Lounge. The person that did my hair is called Sam Zhang or something. He made me follow him on Instagram. And I think he did a really great job with the balayage and the highlights. The highlights go all the way up to my fringe. It's a ash, dark ash brown base. And then he bleached my hair from some like strands that you can see right here. Then he added an ash tone to it so it didn't look like yellow bleach. I just wanted to touch base on that real quick because a lot of you guys have been asking me about my hair. So, and it is one of my favorites for this month, I guess. Now I'm gonna change the subject because I feel uncomfortable complimenting my own hair. Yeah. So still on the topic of hair, I have this product right here. It's called It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Product. I actually had the other smaller bottle which was like $18 and then my mom stole it and brought it back to Asia because she said she was gonna keep it because she loved it as much as I did. And this is my second bottle. This was $36 or something like that. So it's pretty pricey. It does 10 things. That's why it's called It's a 10. It repairs dry and damaged hair, adds shine, tangles, controls feel, frizz, seals and protects hair color, prevents split ends, stops hair breakage, creates silkiness, enhances natural body. I love this so much. It makes my hair so damn soft. And I've never really had soft hair ever since I bleached my hair and colored it many times for the past few years. If you have really dry hair and you have a problem with frizziness, try that. It's awesome. It smells so good too. It's one of those things that you spray onto your hair and then you go outdoors to the public and usually boys would be like, ah, who is that girl? She smells so good. My last product of the day, I had to walk over there to get it, is this Elizabeth and James perfume in Nirvana. And it just smells so great. It says that it's a blend of delicate peony, chic mouge, and tender musk for a feminine scent with dark sophistication. It's feminine with a darkness to it because there's that musky scent. I have this last product. Please watch till the end because I really want to show you guys this thing. This is my vintage sunglasses that I got at sunglassspot.com. It's only $5, you guys. It doesn't do anything to protect my eyes probably, but it does say that it has UV 400. I love how it looks. I looked everywhere online to get glasses like this because I was really inspired by Agent Pena from Narcos which by the way, Narcos pretty much ended for me. If you guys watch Narcos, you would understand why I would not want to continue watching Narcos in season 3 because what's the point? Definitely go get on that vintage bandwagon. Yeah, it's only $5. So yeah, win-win. 
Okay, so I'm a little bit delirious now because I've been talking for the past 30 minutes But I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you guys will be excited for next month's beauty favorites because I have a lot of things that I just recently purchased and that I got for free at Beautycon So thank you so much Beautycon for your kind service I got a lot of awesome products that I'm trying out right now and I'm already loving But I'm just gonna show you one thing real quick that I got at Beautycon just to make you guys like interested to watch on It's this crazy ass, beautiful ass, diamond marble sponge. Yes, yes, it's a sponge. Tune in next month to see what I think about it. Okay, so yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video, okay? Bye! Feeling my way through the darkness Guided by a beating heart